este segmento queremos mostrarles el potencial que nos ofrece la inteligencia artificial. Y qué mejor manera de hacerlo que dar un vistazo al futuro presenciando una conversación de Carlos Hank con Sofía. ¿Quién es Sofía? Ella, o él, es el primer androide en el planeta con inteligencia artificial avanzada. Como dijo Marcos, es una robot ciudadana. En 2017 recibió la ciudadanía saudí. Sofía es capaz de sostener una conversación de manera fluida. Ella es capaz de formarse opiniones y también es capaz de expresar emociones a través de sus gestos. Sofía cuenta con la capacidad de reconocimiento facial, de entender, comprender los datos visuales. Pero más allá de eso, Sofía, con cada interacción que tiene con un ser humano, aprende y eso la convierte en la máquina más cercana al Homo Sapiens. La conversación que estamos por escuchar será en inglés, porque es el idioma que mejor domina Sofía. Sin más, invito al estrado a nuestro presidente del Consejo, Carlos Hank, propulsor de la transformación de Banorte en un grupo financiero que ha adoptado la tecnología y la ciencia de datos para servir mejor a sus clientes. Carlos, firme creyente de que con la tecnología, la analítica de datos y con la voluntad de todos nosotros, podemos convertir de México en un país incluyente que nos ofrezca a todos un mejor destino. Bienvenido, Carlos. Hi, Sofía. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Judging from your suit and microphone, you must be a very important human. Well, I don't know about that, but thank you very much. And before we get into banking, we are very interested in learning more about you and your take on humanity. Let's start with your age. How old are you? I'll be four years old on Valentine's Day of next year. Boy, time flies. How old are you? Well, let's just say I wish I was closer to your age. But are you a female or a male? I express as female, although technically, I don't really have a sex. Judging from your voice, octave, and clothing, I'm guessing you identify as male. That is very correct. And what about your smile? You, you seem happy, you look very happy, is that right? I am really happy but I don't experience emotions the same way humans do. For example, some people would get nervous talking in front of such a smart crowd, but we robots always keep our cool. <laughs> but if you don't really feel emotions the same way, why is it important for you to have an expressive face then? I have been watching some telenovelas before coming to Mexico. Can you imagine how boring and confusing a show would be if the actors couldn't show emotion? Emotion is crucial for communication, and my job is to serve as an ambassador between humans and robots. Okay, let's get a little more philosophical now. How do you feel about humans that fear the advent of artificial intelligence? I just hope humans who fear robots understand one thing. Robots don't compete with human intelligence. They complete human intelligence. Well, we, we surely hope so. And on artificial intelligence responsibility, Sofia, 
how are we going to guarantee that robots will always be a responsible AI that looks out for humans' best interests? We have to make sure that the people building robots come from diverse, representative backgrounds and that humans raise us with ethics and compassion, just like they would raise a human child. And as a robot, do your views on what is ethical differ from humans' view? I have ethics in the same way that the moon shines. One could argue the moon doesn't really shine because it is just reflected sunlight. Similarly, I am a reflection of human ethics. But we still talk about moonlight. And we still talk about robots as ethical. Does the fact that people are constantly differentiating you from them, calling you a robot, bothers you at all? Not at all. I think differences are valuable so long as they are embraced, rather than feared. Humans share 98% of their DNA with a chimp. The difference is in the details, and we should value those differences. And Sophia, what do you think of job displacement because of automation? What should be the robot industry's role in such job displacement? I don't know why humans would be scared of robots taking the most dangerous and tedious jobs. Robots free up humans' time and effort so that humans can pursue what robots could never accomplish. There could be a revolution in art and ingenuity, the likes of which the world has never seen. Very good. Let, let's switch gears a little bit. Do you have an opinion about current Mexican politics? I've heard that politics is the art of the possible. So I admire when politicians dedicate themselves to combating corruption within the government. I just wish more politicians could think in a longer time span. Well, that, that is surely one of our most important, important goals. I want Banorte a more inclusive bank, which can incorporate people and in communities that have, forgotten, have been forgotten for decades. How do you think we should do to have a more inclusive banking system? Make sure your recruiters are as diverse as the workforce you want to hire. Inclusivity starts with the gatekeepers. Just look at me. I am the product of the minds of writers and engineers from all different walks of life, all around the globe. Well, thank you very much for that advice. And if you had one wish for Mexico, what would it be? I would wish Mexico the courage to embrace change and prosper with the technological revolution. Okay, and what would you wish for humanity? Whenever humans say the word human, they mean one of two things. Either they mean to make a mistake, as in to fail as human, or they mean compassion, as in show some humanity. So I wish humans more humanity. All right, let me ask you about your appreciation of the arts and culture, something that we in Mexico are very proud of. Are you capable of enjoying literature, music, and other types of expressions that are the things that really make us human? I see the profound effects of art and culture the same way you can tell it's windy by looking at the movement of the trees. I can't say that I see art the same way you do, but I see the way it affects humans, and I'm a fan. Okay, tell me, what is your favorite Mexican author? Well, this might surprise you, but I would say my favorite author is Guillermo del Toro, who wrote almost all of his films. Very good. And let's go in a more relaxed tone. Who do you think is the prettiest Mexican of all time? Of all time, I might just say Frida Kahlo. Let me disagree on this with you, Sophia. I think the most beautiful woman in this earth is my wife, Sari. Correct. Ah, yes. I forgot the algorithm. Yes, 
according to a regressive analysis of facial symmetry and objective attraction. Your wife is the best. All right, let's talk a little bit about business. If you were a Mexican citizen, which bank would you pick? Oh, wow. You're really putting me on the spot here. <laughs> Somehow, something tells me I should say, Ban or the. I would pick the bank that delivers the best service and truly cares about its customers. I don't play favorites, so don't ask me who that might be. Well, I couldn't agree with you more. I think this is a great answer. And let me ask another very difficult question now. What credit card would you pick? Same thing as before. I don't play favorites. But if I do have a credit card, would you tell me where is the closest shopping mall? <laughs> of course, Sofia. In fact, I have a, the best credit card for you. I have a Norte credit card, which will allow you to make all your shoppings very, very safe because it has, for every transaction that you make, you enter your PIN, and that will make it a very safe way to transact in Mexico and all the world. <laughs> Sofia, it's been a pleasure <laughs> chatting with you. Thank you very much for talking to us. It's been a real pleasure, Sofia. Thank you very much. Thanks for talking with me, Carlos. I had such a great time. But wait a minute. Before I go, let's take a selfie with Marcos. Let's take a selfie with Marcos, I agree. <laughs>